What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's little video, we're gonna do a full back workout. We're gonna get this back tearing off the bone. Not literally, but we're gonna smash a big session. Um, I'm gonna try to focus on really teaching you guys how to contract that muscle, really focusing on time under tension and just really getting a good squeeze of muscle because back, I feel like when you're young, it's just something, you can't see it when you're training it. So it is really hard to get a good grasp of how to train it properly, but that's what we're gonna to do today for some of you young guys that maybe don't have that developed back yet, but you want that proper Christmas tree, you want that thick back, and so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go through my home gym a little bit as well, and just show you guys um, where I got a lot of this stuff from, and cost-wise and stuff like that, so yeah, I won't bore you too much, but we'll go into that a little bit, and I'll try not ramble on too much in this video. Starting off, we have the kettlebell and dumbbell rack. Now, all of this stuff is from Kmart. The racks from Kmart, the kettlebells and the dumbbells. If you go on Marketplace, you'll struggle to find dumbbells cheaper than what you can buy brand new at Kmart. So, I think, yeah, those are, those are 10s. I got a set of 12 and a half, sevens there. What my goal was with this gym is to have the, the necessities in it, not have too much crap that I'm not gonna use. So you don't you don't need a million dumbbells, just get sets that you think you're gonna need. So got those, you got a few kettlebells, different sizes. Um, they're they're um, two sets of two. We got little little weights there, interchangeable. I was using these for a long time. If you don't wanna spend the money on big weights like this, you can easily just go um, with the interchangeable ones. But they only went up to 32 kilos or something, so Plus, these feel a little bit, a lot better. So I got these on Marketplace. I got a set of 30 kilos and a set of 40 kilos. Now, we'll just keep moving. I got 150 kilos of bumper plates and that is from King Kong. So they helped me out when I first um, ordered all this stuff and I think they, they gave me a good discount. But all in all, they were pretty much the cheapest place I could find for dumbbells and stuff. I mean, sorry, for just like squat racks and pretty much everything. So that's from Kmart as well, um, that easy bar. S same with that stand, that stand was literally like $50. Same with that other rack over there, so cheap. They just come in a package, you put them together. We've got a barbell there, that's King Kong as well, the squat rack. It's from King Kong, as you can see, and I got the, I got the lat pull down attachment up there, which also has the attachment down the bottom. Now, these are the fun things. I think, like this is the, if you have a spot where you can mount these brackets. Now, these brackets I got from Bunnings. Pretty much all Bunnings have them. They have different sizes and stuff like that. A couple of big, um, big screws there with a stainless steel eye bolt at the top. Now these come from eBay. I think they're like $30. They don't come with a handle, but they actually come with a rope there, like a double handed rope. And yeah, it's pretty much just a pulley. You put the weights down the bottom, which like a, like they are, all those weight plates are from Kmart, so cheap from there. Um, and yeah, super easy to put together. And these, you've probably seen them, but they just work so well, especially if you're doing cable crossovers. If you can put two a good good distance apart, then you can make that cable crossover. So that's what I've got, another one there. And these are just some little um, yeah, hooks that I've put there for all my handles and stuff. I've just got these in, so we're gonna do a back session. So I'm keen as to give these a try. They're pretty similar, but they got, they're just a little bit different. So. This thing is a, probably just a waste of money. Um, I got it from Rebel Sports, I think, but it comes in handy sometimes just to do the leg extension and the hamstring curl. This bench is from Rebel, just a pretty cheap one. Um, it does the job, but I think I'd get a better one um, if I had my time over. Got that bike off Marketplace, and lastly, we have a boxing bag up here, which this from Kmart, I think it was like $50, and all those parts there, they're just from um, Bunnings, so that's the home gym, let's hit this session. Swiss 
six for the EV Ride around my city, you should come ride with me, yeah Feel me if you hear me sip Water like a fish sip, box water to the gillies, yeah This a new way, this a takeover Do it for the future, time to get a world a makeover Time never stops, know the time and it's not Time to clean up the block Streets been a mess, how can I breathe? Smoke in the air Pure gasoline, I see the news, see what you read Change gotta come, put that on me and watch me educate Yeah, we been, could've started, but it's never late Do it for my kids, kids, yeah, let's set it straight Do it for your kids, kids, gotta set it straight It's time to regulate, we, we, we need change now We need solo, we need EV in the game now Make it change so the earth we know can stay around Make it change cause we had no time for playing around Let's quit the playing around Right now with these pull-ups, as you can see when I'm doing it, I'm keeping my elbows out wide and I'm bringing my chest up to the bar. I'm not hunching my shoulders over, I'm not swinging just to get reps out. I'm going slow and controlled, keeping the elbows out. And when I pull up, pulling it right up to the chest, and it's pretty much working most of my lower lats. Now, I originally thought that these close, these wide grip pull-ups would be doing my outer lats. It actually doesn't hit them too much. It, it hits a lot of the lower lats down there. So what we'll do in the rest of the, later on in the session is do hit more of those outer lats for that width with, um, with the pulleys and stuff like that. But for these wide grips, we're getting those lower lats and we're just going slow and controlled, bringing it to the chest. I'm back in my bag, yo. Conscious. Iso. Down. Back in my bag and I ain't gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills. Yeah, and she be riding on that thing like a fair swell. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring it to the hood like she carrying silver when she keep on turning head. Cause when she woke that thing, jiggle, jiggle. And we going back to back on them like we Huey and we Riley. This that back in my back flow, we back again so highly. This that back in my back flow, we back to change the climate. This that back in my back flow, we bring the force like Tommy. Back in my, back in my back flow. Back in my, yeah, yeah, back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, yeah, yeah, I'm back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, this my, back in my bag flow. Uh. Back again, yeah, we keep on stacking, it was happening. Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then. Life has been a movie, yeah, so shout out to the cameraman. Pull up to the scene, it's going down like a avalanche. Steady going up like a travel plan. Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan. All right, guys, we pretty much hit, um, we've hit the lower lat, we've hit the inside of the back. Those ones from the bottom, when I'm pulling that up, I'm trying to pretend kind of like you got a pencil between your back muscles and you're kind of trying to squeeze that together at the back. Um, all of these really good exercises, but now we're gonna move into something that really hits that, those outer lats, which I feel like a lot of people neglect, just thinking that these other exercises are gonna hit them okay. They don't really direct much to your outer lats, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna grab a handle and we're gonna do some pull throughs and really dial in on getting a good squeeze of those lats and hopefully grow some wings so we can fly away. All right, one of my favorite exercises now, pretty much got the bench set up and we got the cable with the handle, just one handle. And we're gonna use this bench as our support, put our hand there. We're gonna let that lat stretch out. And then we're gonna pull it in and really squeeze it down the bottom. And then let it all the way out again. Give that, let the lat stretch out, and then uh, squeeze.
That's the back workout done, guys. Um, pretty much four sets on each exercise, around 10 to 12 reps, so pretty high volume. Um, like I said, we hit the inner back, we hit the lower lats, and then at the end we got those outer lats. So full back workout. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, go like, subscribe. I got some other cool videos coming. We're going to do a track workout for you guys that love the running and stuff like that. That's going to be this week, and then I'm also going to announce my next race that's coming up. So. Stay tuned and yeah, I'm gonna keep these videos coming. See you later.